Let's start with Steelers at Panthers. First of all, mm-hmm. first of all, their win total was nine and a half when we broke this division down. It's still yep. nine and a half, but a and and these are from Bet three sixty five. A big thirty cent move towards the under, Donnie. A thirty mm-hmm. cent move. It, it opened nine and a half plus hundred minus one thirty. Now it's nine and a half over at plus one thirty. Minus 160. There's a whale capper back with us. A whale capper, a 30 cent move towards the Steelers team total under. But interestingly enough, their Super Bowl and conference numbers have gone down. It was plus 2,000 to win the Super Bowl, now plus 1,800. And it was plus 1,000 to win the conference, now plus 900, which leads us to the Carolina Panthers. The Carolina Panthers have had a, at Bet 365, a 45 cent move to their over in the season win total. It was minus 120. We could have got it during the breakdown of the division. Now it's minus 165. A big, big move. Their division conference Super Bowl numbers are all the same, but a 45-cent move towards the over 7.5 wins, which leads us to this game, Pittsburgh, Carolina. Pittsburgh opening up at minus 1.5. It's now minus 3.5 across the board. This total has been at 33 and actually has moved 5 cents to the under, but is still at 33. Donnie Wrightside, what do you think of the move towards the under for the Steelers' win total, the over for the Panthers' total, and how are you handling this football game? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. We bring up the first points there. Pittsburgh, you know, I don't really see too much of a big move there. If you're on the Steelers before, nothing really gave you any pause, Jimmy, in the preseason. At least me to give me pause that said, you know what? I don't know if Big Ben, I don't know if the offensive line is going to be ready with the defense. I think they're going to be just fine. The one interesting thing you brought up there with the Carolina Panthers, the move towards the over. Like, you, again, this is getting back to just, you know, I haven't seen Cam Newton yet. And this whole new release, which, you know, Tim Tebow had a new release in the offseason we heard about for three straight years. And the minute the fire went down and he's in the pocket, he started slinging it sidearm again, which is the same thing Cam Newton's going to do. But you're telling me a big, strong quarterback, physical, built on eluding in the pocket, built on if you grab me in the pocket, I can shake free has a mid-foot sprain entering in the week one where you know they're going to rush him back in week one, which can only exacerbate the issue if it does happen. I'm interested in that side of it, saying, you know what? If I get a banged-up quarterback to start the season, what are the odds he gets healthier as the season moves on? That's interesting. But getting to the game itself, Pittsburgh and Carolina, give me the backup quarterback situation for Pittsburgh. You might not get a lot from whoever the backup quarterback is actually going to be, but the third stringer on Pittsburgh is still going to be pretty good. I like the Steelers in this game. It's hard to lay three and a half, though, in the final game. But more importantly, the Carolina over, Jimmy, for team total. Baffling to me, actually. Interesting. I I can't wait to drop some of these market moves from Bet365 on you guys. Big move. And, you know, Whale Capper started talking about the Panthers in much higher notes a couple weeks ago. And here they are taking a 45-cent move towards the over. This total is very low, 33. And Pittsburgh's taking two points. What do you think of those regular season win total moves? And how are you handling this game, Whale Capper? I would actually look to uh, to try to fade the uh, the Panthers move at this point. And it all does come down to the health in- injury risk from Cam Newton. Um, you know, I, I will say that, uh, you know, in this particular game, Steelers versus Panthers, I do like the uh, backup quarterback situation with the Panthers better. And if they're dogs, then I'm, you know, if I'm playing anything, I'm playing Carolina. Um, but, uh, as far as their, you know, their prospects for this season go, you know, I was, I was a little bullish on them just on the basis of, you know, their schedule broke nicely. It felt like they could get a little bit of momentum out of the gate. They could get themselves into a position where they're competing for the NFC South. But, um, you know, now when you add up, add, you, you add this uncertainty of, we don't really know, uh, the health of Cam Newton's shoulder on top of now he's got a bum wheel. Um, this is potentially a problem. They got to go up against the Rams week one. Uh, that's going to be a tough spot right out of the gate. Um, you know, and, and this is, uh, this is now a lot more, um, you know, fragile situation in Carolina in terms of, uh, in terms of making that number. So this, whereas I was kind of warming up to them, I was kind of thinking people were sleeping on them. I was in line with the market movement. Uh, I think, uh, now I'm, I'm way off this one. Interesting. Justin Grammer says a season is long and grueling. Cam has had injury problems before. If you isolate McCaffrey, take that away. What are the Panthers? And now if you take them to win under seven and a half wins, plus 135. Well, Donnie right side leading towards the Steelers. Well, Cap leading towards the Panthers. That three and a half is a big, big total or, or yeah. a big spread. Are any of you guys liking a move on the total here? Donnie, any move on the total? I mean, it's just... 
It's 33. Like, and uh, we preached just, we sat together and we were laughing and stuff like, you know, if you're getting 44, 45, it's an automatic under. But boy, that wiggle room gets so short at 33. There's going to be, you know, salary cap warriors, as I like to call them in the second half of this game. Their last shot, mom, dad, watch me out here on TV trying to do some crazy stuff. But I don't know. If you're going to give me 33, don't you just have to lean towards the O? Even though it has 17 to 6 written all over it, I can't advocate saying, you know what? Unders a great look here. Yeah, it's just such a low total. Well, Cap Brainy, lean on this total? Yeah, I would lean over as well. And a lot of it is just because we've seen some pretty competitive uh, play out of the Steelers' offense. They look like they're humming. And, and just in general, like, I think the Steelers are a bet on team as we go into the season uh, in terms of game by game. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the, the likelihood that we see some pretty competent play out of the, you know, out of the back of quarterbacks for Carolina combined with the kind of the smoothly running uh, ship here with the, with the Steelers uh, offense, I think, does lean to an over here.